Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated, and today I'll show you how to use Airtable to manage your social media calendars. Part 1, Instagram posts. Let's get to it. Today, we'll be creating a social media calendar for a business called Dapper Dog Outfitters, which sells cute dog outfits. So, here is the Airtable base that we will be using for planning. In the description of the video, you will find the link to this base so that you can go over there and you can clone that base and start working on it. So what we see here is a row with multiple posts. And first, let's talk about the working status here. So when we look at the status, there are one, two, three, four, five different statuses here. So we will start with planning. This will be the post that we want our team to create. Progress, these are the ones that we review. On hold, stop for any reason, and then approved and live posts. So you can see here that we have a couple of posts that are having a specific topic and they're in the stage planning. There is also a person that is assigned to take care of this and create that content, okay? But let's look at the posts that are already done and are ready for our review. So you can see here that they are in progress. Here, type of post, you can set up whatever type of post you would like to have for your internal um, understanding, what, what is the purpose of them. Here in the channels, we have a couple of different channels where we would like this particular post to be posted. Sometimes it's possible to reuse the same content across multiple, multiple channels. So we can add other channels here, TikTok and so on. Um, here is the most important part, which is the copy that will be under the picture. And then here you can see that there is a separate field for hashtag because we will be reusing the same hashtag. Sometimes it might be useful just to reuse the same hashtag across multiple ones. If you, if you want to change it, it's slightly better visibility here. Okay, and here you can see that we already have the pictures that have been created over here. All right, so what is interesting to know when you are doing this in Airtable, what is really great, when you look at the image, you say like, okay, I actually don't like this picture. I think this is a little bit too pink. So what you can do, you can mark it here and then you can tag someone from your team, name of the person, and you can write the comments, hey, the shades, are to pink. This way, your collaborators will be able to reply to that and fix the, fix the issue. So you can comment on the multiple issues on that particular picture. So this is super good. Once you're happy with that, you can change the status to approve. Now we'll do one more element. We'll create a view with the posts that have been approved. So to create a new view, we'll click on the views here and then click over here, duplicate the view. And let's call it approve posts. And we will add a special filter here, which will be status only approved. Next stage will be when do you want to post this video? So let's put day to day with a specific time. Let's put it maybe in the afternoon. All right, and now the question, how do we post this image here into our Facebook account. For that, we'll use a software called Make. You can also find the description of Make in the description of the video. And now what you need to do is you need to go to, to Make and then sign into Make. We are actually using for the demonstration here a free plan. So you can also see that this can be done on the free plan in Integromat, in Make. It used to be called Integromat, now it's called Make. All right, let's click Create New Scenario. And here we will start with Airtable. And the first step of the scenario will be search records. When you're using this for the first time, you will have to connect this to your Airtable using your Airtable API key, which is visible in the help settings. And then once you're connected, you need to select the correct base. And now what we want to do is select the table from which the information will be coming from. And now we are selecting the view. And for the view, we'll take only the posts which are ready to publish stage. Let's click OK and let's press run once. OK, you can see that we have one post from the view visible inside of uh, Integrum, in, inside of Make, but we don't want to be uh, using this because it is not ready to be published yet, but we will sort it out later. 
So let's do the next step here and let's use a step which is called Instagram. And here we need to select Instagram for business. Your account needs to be a business account to be able to use this feature. And now as a next step, we'll use create a photo post. So let's connect it here. And now the next step that needs to happen, you need to connect this to your Facebook business account. So once you sort out all those connections, then the next step will be selecting the correct page. So we'll select our Dapper Doc Outfitters. And the next part is actually quite simple. First of all, you need to be sure that the images that you upload into Airtable are matching these requirements over here. So be conscious of the size and be conscious of the aspect ratio, as well as the minimum and maximum width to not have any issues with the images. If you don't meet this criteria, it might cause an error and prevent you from posting. So now the step is quite easy. Once you click here, you will see all the list of data available from the previous step. So now let's see where is the, where is the URL. The URL will be visible in the content because the image is located in the content. And once you open the content, you will see the URL. So this is the URL of the picture. It might be that actually my picture is not matching the requirements here, looking at the width and height, but we will see it in a second. And now the next step is adding caption to that. So the caption that we would like is located in the copy. And then underneath, we will also add the hashtags. Okay, so let's press the run once and see what happens. Okay, it looks like it got posted correctly. Let's refresh this page. And here you go. You can see that we have posted the image on our Instagram. You can see that the content, the copy is there as well as the hashtags. Okay. However, one step that we had here is that this post was not supposed to be posted because we wanted to post it at a later date. This is not this time yet. So we will need to add one more step here. Just for the technical reasons, we'll just add a router in the middle. And the reason I'm adding router here is because in the future scenarios, I'll be also adding other social medias connected to this, this particular router. So it, this is just for the future setup, but if you're only doing Instagram, you could just ignore it. So now what we need to do, we need to make sure that when we have a condition, date is now, which will mean that the date, which is the date on which we would like to post this specific post is earlier than today. So now what we will do, we will select here the operator and we'll not do text operators. We will scroll down to the date operators. And what we'll select here is earlier than or equal to. And here we will select from the time tools. We will select now. All right. And to avoid, in case I made a mistake, to avoid posting this on Instagram again, I'll just unlink it here and let's run it once. All right, you can see that here this post was discovered, but here you can see the criteria is not met, means this picture would not be posted. So let's change it to an earlier date. So for example, okay, this is 12, say 1 a.m. today, it's already after 1 a.m., so this picture is supposed to be posted. So let's press run and you can see that this is being posted. All right, so now we just need to do something to make sure that it's not posting this all the time. We need to provide Airtable with some feedback from Make. So what we will do for use for that is another module from Airtable and we will use update a record connected to the end and let's select the same base and table that we used. The record ID will be the record ID coming from the first step from here. And now we are updating the status of this record. So when we are in the status, we should type live because this is the status that we have here. If you would like to use this as a single select, if you would like to use a status that is not present there, you would have to select smart links. Otherwise, if you type a status that does not exist, without marking smart links, it would not create that different status. 
and it would cause an error. But in our case, status life exists, so this is enough. And we will do one more item here. So we'll find the IG post. So this is a, a column where we will store the post ID of the post that we have created so that in future we can take some actions or check the stats for that particular post. All right, so now let's click OK. So now when I press run once, it will post it again, but at the same time, it will change the status inside of, inside of Airtable from approved to live, and it will cause it to disappear from the approved for publishing view. And you can see that this image was posted. All right, so let's go back just to set up the working flow. Oh, by the way, here in the social calendar, you will see when those posts were planned out once you set the posting date. So for example, so now you can see when those posts will be happening. And here we have them spread out on every day, every other day, and so on. We need to change them to approved and change the status to approved. You can see we have multiple posts here. All the dates are after today, so when I click run once, this is not happening, okay? So once we get to that particular day, so a day from now, two days from now, this integromat scenario would work, but it needs to be scheduled to check for that, for whether those posts are supposed to be posted or not. And to have this happen, first of all, you need to check the scheduling. Maybe it doesn't have to be every 15 minutes. It can be maybe once per day if you don't care that much about time or if you would like to have more or less morning evening times that you can have it for example every two hours every 120 minutes and then you press scheduling on and this scenario save changes and this scenario will run now every two hours and check whether there are any posts that are ready to be posted and are supposed to be posted based on the date. So let's just move the date slightly in the past so that you can see also the other ones being posted. Here, actually, all of all three of them are in the past. So if the scenario would run right now, actually, all of them would be executed. So you can see that first one being executed, now second one going, and the third one going. So you can see all of them have disappeared from here. All of them have been posted and you can see they are live and also all of them have appeared on our Instagram. All right, I hope this video was useful for you and in the next episode we'll show you how to post videos to Instagram as well. All right, take care.